Hi, my dear children. A very, very good morning. This is Dr. Vani right in front of you on behalf of Vedantu for another super cool, super amazing and an awesome, awesome session that we're going to have right now and right here. Yes, my dear children. So come on, just listen to me very, very carefully because today, when there are very few days remaining, I have got something which is a very cool and very important piece of information for each one of you. Yes. So now just listen to me. What if I told you, yes, what if I told you that your brain is really a belief organ? Would you listen to me? Yes, it is a belief organ. That means whatever you tell your brain, your brain decides to hear that and thinks that it is a reality. And then your brain sends a signal to at least 60 trillion cells that are continuously getting produced in the human body, the reality which you tell your brain. That means, let me repeat it in Hindi. Aapka brain, jo aap usko feed karte, usko vaakai mein sach maanta hai. Aur aapki body ke hazaro karodo arbo cells ko vahi sachai bayan karta hai. Yes, so the thoughts, the visions, the aims, the self talk that you do. Yes, so many times we have so much of self talk in the brain which is happening. Ki mujh se to nahi hoga ye. Yes, ni. Bohat mushkil lag raha hai. Bohat kam din hai. No, do not say that. Tell your brain, I am going to see that. Visualize it. Yes, tell your brain, I am going to get a seat. Visualize you getting a seat. Visualize you wearing a white coat. Is that clear? Visualize yourself walking across a college, studying with your friends. Because what reality you feed your brain, that is the reality which the brain feeds all your cells. I also want to tell you this. Have you ever heard of the placebo effect? Right? This was a scientifically proven experiment. I am not saying things just out of the blue. Bohat achhi, bohat positive cheez hai, taki subha subha hume bohat achha lage. No. This was a scientifically proven experiment wherein they gave a couple of patients only glucose right so in the medicines there was only glucose there was absolutely no drug there was no medicine but these people were cured read about it the opposite of it is nocebo effect right so placebo is a very positive is a very active is a very true effect which happens when the brain is made to realize ki mujhe dawai mil rahi hai aur main theek ho jaunga. when the brain realizes this the brain starts sending healing impulses or healing signals across the cells of the body and the cells in reality genuinely heal. So what I want you to do for the next 15-20 days is believe in the reality that you want. Believe that you're getting a seat. Believe that you're going to a college. Believe that you have gotten inside a college. Believe that you've cleared the NEET exam and you will. Done? So with that extremely positive and very, very motivating start to the day, come, let's start today's very, very important class. Today's class, I'm going to be doing microbes, you know, which are useful in human welfare, everybody. Now, this is a very important chapter because one microbe will 100% come. So from this chapter, microbes have to come. Severe treatment pe question aana hi aana hai. Kaun se bacteria se kaun se important cheese banti hai. One question has to come. There is absolutely no doubt about it. So it's a small chapter. It's a sweet chapter. It's an interesting chapter. It's not a very huge, humongous class. It's a nice, small, sweet, simple, awesome class. Yes. So 100% 4 marks to hai. 100% have no doubts about it. There could also be 8 marks. So if you sit carefully, you don't go anywhere. Just sit with paper and pen. Write down at least 10 to 12 to 15 points that I'm going to tell you right now in this class. You can very, very, very easily score either 4 minimum or a maximum of 8 marks in the NEET exam which is going to be there in the next 20 days. Cool. Yes, so come with that. Let's start today's super cool photo, amazing, awesome session on microbes in human welfare, which is very, very, very raised to power infinity important. Done? Chaliye. Let's start the class. Okay. The theory again in this class, you'll be surprised that every question is followed by a theory slide. Right? Every question that I'm doing after that, there is a theory slide. So you just don't have to worry about the theory that is there. Cool. Come. Let's start today's class. Okay. Now, this is question number one on your screen. In you know, it's a 
kind of a tough question. Kind of a tough question. Trichoderma has yanum has proved to be a useful microorganism for what? Is it useful microorganism like the agrobacterium tumefaciens with the TI plasmid? Because extra information, pay attention. I've told you in one question, we do seven, seven, eight, eight questions. So pay a lot, raise to power, infinity attention. Agrobacterium tumefaciens helps in gene transfer in higher plants with the TI plasmid. Is this also going to do it? I don't think so right is it a biological control of soil borne plant pathogens i'm not going to tell you you tell me bio remediation of contaminated soil kya hota hai wo soil jo wasteland mein convert ho chuki hai right ya us soil mein bahut zyada salt hai ya soil mein bahut zyada toxins hai if you remove the salts and if you remove the toxins so that the soil can be reused that is called as bio remediation reclamation of waste lands right waste lands ko hum dobara reuse mein laate hain so what is the answer to this good question biological control of soil soil borne plant pathogens you will be surprised to know yes it controls funguses let me give you the theory for it it controls any fungal disease from happening to plants so any fungal disease which could happen to plants this is going to control it tycoderma Herzerium is a fungus that is present in nearly all soils. Number one, it is a fungus. It's present in nearly all soils. It is also used as a fungicide. So it is like a cannibal fungus. ये फंगस होते हुए दूसरी फंगस को क्या करेगी डिस्ट्रॉय इट इज यूज फॉर फोलियर एप्लीकेशन या पत्तों पर लगा दो स्प्रे के फॉर्म पे सीड्स में ट्राइकोडर्मा हर्जेरियम लगा दीजिए या सॉइल में डाल दीजिए फॉर सप्रेशन ऑफ वेरियस डिजीज कॉजिंग फंगल pathogens is that clear so it's a fungal disease yes of the plant but it prevents it is it does not cause disease but it prevents other funguses from causing diseases is that clear to everybody any doubts in this class let us move ahead so that's what i'm saying i there are you will be surprised at the amount of repeat questions in today's class right every third question you will see they are all repeated questions so i want you to sit make notes write down things it's a very very important class which one of the following is not आप लोग सब लोग हमेशा कंफ्यूज हो जाते हो कभी नॉट पढ़ते नहीं हो करेक्ट को इनकरेक्ट पढ़ लेते हो इनकरेक्ट को करेक्ट पढ़ लेते हो सो पे लॉट ऑफ अटेंशन विच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट यूज्ड एज अ बायो पेस्टिसाइड नॉट यूज्ड यस व्हाट इज द आंसर कम ऑन एवरीबडी यू दिस तो यू नो यू रेड इट वन थाउजेंड टाइम्स दैट बैसेलस थ्यूरी जेनेसिस बनाएगा क्राई प्रोटीन जो किसको मार देगा You know, yes, lepidopterans. Who? Who will kill them? Correct. Anything which is like a creepy, crawly creature. Correct. This also you have just read it. ये भी अभी आपने पढ़ा है कि ये fungal diseases को destroy कर देता है plant के. आपको पता है ये caterpillar species को destroy कर देता है. तो आपके दिमाग में exam में सिर्फ ये दो options रहने चाहिए. This I will tell you in detail. ये भी बहुत important है. This also destroys. Yes, yes. It destroys the pests. Only thing which is not going to do that is Xanthomonas campestris. Let us read about NPV. NPV can come in the exam. Open your papers and pens and write this down. देखो बच्चों, I am doing this in my regular classes also. I am regular classes. Maybe मैं आपको पता है कई बच्चे मेरे regular classes के भी होंगे जो यहाँ बैठे हुए हैं. We just discuss questions. धर 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 धर. Full day we are discussing only questions. Last के कुछ दिन बचे हैं. Do not miss classes. जो कुछ भी मैं बोल रही हूँ एग्जाम में हो सकता है एग्जैक्टली exactly वैसे के वैसे क्वेश्चन आए तो आपकी सबकॉन्शियस मेमोरी में वो अभी लोडेड होगा आपको याद होगा एंड टू गिव एन आंसर इन द एग्जामिनेशन विल बिकम वेरी वेरी सिंपल कूल सो न्यूक्लियो पॉलीहेड्रो वायरस इसका फुल फॉर्म है इज यूज टू कंट्रोल हिलियोथिस स्पीशीज हिलियोथिस इज अ कॉस्मोपोलिटन स्पेस्ट कॉस्मोपोलिटन का मतलब होता है ऐसी चीज जो पूरी दुनिया में पाई जाए इट अटैक्स एटलीस्ट थर्टी फूड एंड फाइबर यूल्डिंग क्रॉप प्लांट्स ट्राइकोडर्मा इज यूज टू किल फंगल प्लांट पैथोजन ऑफ ग्राउंड नट चिक पीज एटसेट्रा बैसिलस थ्यूरी जेनेसिस प्रोड्यूस अ प्रोटोक्सिन कॉल क्रिस्टल प्रोटीन विच इज यूज टू बीड लेपिडोपेट्रो एंड डायपेट्रोन लार्वे राइट सो एनपीवी से हिलियोथिस मरता है ट्राइकोडर्मा से फंगल प्लांट पैथोजेंस मरते हैं और आपको पता है बीटी कॉटन बीटी ब्रिंजल बैसिलस थ्यूरी जेनेसिस से लेपिडोपेट्रोन्स और डायप्ट्रोन्स 
हम मार देते हैं सो दे बायो पेस्टिसाइड अ कॉमन बायो कंट्रोल एजेंट For the control of plant diseases is right, which is a very very common bio control agent. It's often given in your NCERT. Come on, for the control of bio, uh, you know, plant diseases, biological diseases or plant diseases in plants are yes, trichoderma. Trich. See, Bacillus thuringiensis is not very common. You just have Bt cotton, Bt brinjal, one or two more plants, which is very very common. The natural method of pest and pathogen control involving use of viruses. bacteria and other insects which are their natural predators and pests is called bio control right biological control kya hai maan lijiye there is a insect called x there is another insect called y y eats x to aap khet mein kya karoge you will bring y to the field x is a pest it will eat your crops you bring y to the field so y is going to eat the x simple so the natural method this is very important bio control the natural method of pest and pathogen control involving uses of viruses bacteria and other insects for example the free living fungus this is important question can come which of the following is a free living fungus which is a natural method for pest control is that clear is trichoderma please copy this down i am writing mcq with a blue pen very important yes trichoderma exerts bio control over several plant pathogens for the control of plant diseases baculovirus which are generally again nucleo polyhedro virus jo bhi humne padha tha npv are also used as bio control agents but they are used for the control of insects and arthropods bacillus thuringiensis is a soil bacterium which is used as a bio pesticide ग्लोमस तो एग्जाम में कम से कम दस बार आ चुका है ग्लोमस स्पीशीज आर द मोस्ट कॉमन फंगल पार्टनर्स ऑफ माइकोराइजा व्हाट इज माइकोराइजा माइकोराइजा इज फंगस इज अ सिम्बायोटिक रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन द रूट्स ऑफ हायर प्लांट्स फॉर एग्जांपल पाइन ट्रीज एंड फंगस सो सपोज लेट मी डू दिस इन डिटेल सपोज दिस इज द रूट ऑफ अ फंगस सपोज दिस इज द रूट ऑफ पाइन तो रूट ऑफ पाइन पे क्या लगा होगा वॉट इज गोइंग टू बी देयर ऑन द रूट ऑफ पाइन दिस विल बी द फंगस वॉट विल द फंगस डू द फंगस विल स्प्रेड आपको पता है कितनी जल्दी फैल जाती है सो द फंगस विल स्प्रेड इट विल एब्सॉर्ब वॉटर प्लस मिनरल्स एंड ये वॉटर और मिनरल्स किसको देगा पाइन को देगा पाइन बदले में फंगस को क्या देगा फूड फूड से वो फंगस और स्प्रेड होगी और वॉटर प्लस मिनरल्स एब्सॉर्ब करेगी और किसको देगी वॉटर प्लस मिनरल्स एब्सॉर्ब करके पाइन को इज दैट क्लियर any doubts yes so pine and fungus have a symbiotic relationship which is known as mycorrhiza now the mycorrhiza same question the mycorrhiza could be towards the outside you know if this is the root the mycorrhiza could be towards the outer part or it could be inside forming globules inside the root if the mycorrhiza is a part of inside the root it is known as endomycorrhiza is that clear yes everybody so endomycorrhiza is a part which is inside the root right an example of endomycorrhiza is any part of the fungus which is part of the inside of the root this question itself direct question has come at least 5 to 7 times in previous years mcq glomus aap khol ke dekhiye books glomus is very 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 important right nostoc anabina is different agaricus is mushroom rhizobium forms nitrogen symbiotic relationship yes nostoc anabina blue green algae cyanobacteria so glomus is a gene when the fungus is growing inside it is known as vesicular arbuscular mycorrhiza iska full form aa sakta hai mcq class mein every word that i am doing in every page how do i tell you is very raised to power infinity important very 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 important right so glomus my dear children is a genus of arbuscular mycorrhizal fungi it is vesicular arbuscular mycorrhiza it forms endomycorrhiza it lives inside the roots it's a symbiotic association with plants root and fungus fungus kya karega fungus will spread in the soil yes absorb water and minerals yes give it to the plant plant will take that water and mineral correct everybody so the plant yes will take that water and mineral and after taking that water and mineral the plant will grow more or photosynthesis karega or grow karega or food banayega wo food banakar it will give it back to the 
फंगस फंगस और स्प्रेड होगी करेक्ट एंड और ज्यादा स्प्रेड होकर इट विल एब्सॉर्ब मोर एंड गिव इट बैक टू द प्लांट सो इट इज लाइक अ सिम्बायोटिक रिलेशनशिप यू आर ऑल्सो हैप्पी आई एम ऑल्सो हैप्पी येस सिम्बायोटिक रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन द प्लांट एंड द फंगस राइट एवरीबडी प्लांट्स हैविंग सच एसोसिएशन शो अदर बेनिफिट ऑल्सो सच एज रेजिस्टेंस जिनके पास वेसिकुलर आर्बेस्कुलर माइक्रोराइजा है जिन प्लांट्स के रूट्स में फंगस है दे आर रेजिस्टेंट टू पैथोजें दे टॉलरेट मोर अमाउंट ऑफ सेलाइनिटी एंड ड्रॉट एंड ओवरऑल there is a increase in plant growth and development so you have fungus growing in the root which absorbs water and minerals and gives it to the plant a very important fungus which lives in side the root of the plant is known as glomus it's a very 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 important mcq question any doubts till now any doubt simple easy important factual class moving on to the next question right in front of you Sewage treatment. Mark my words. I've been teaching for ten years. Mark my words. Sewage treatment is hundred percent one MCQ question will come from sewage treatment or the gober gas plant, right? Hundred percent. Methanococcus, rumenococcus, gober gas. Me, which si gas is there? You know, it is not methane. Gober gas is made up of seventy percent methane and thirty percent carbon dioxide. What are the bacteria which is used? What is primary treatment? What is secondary treatment? What is activated sludge? What is flux? 100% one mcq has to come is that clear is that clear everybody cool so secondary sewage treatment kya hota hai is it a physical process is it a mechanical process is it a chemical process or is it a biological process primary treatment mein we remove the debris we make the make the uh, sewage stand and then we remove the debris is that clear jo bhi cheeze are standing on the fungus or on the fungal parts or the the rocks right small pieces of rock small pieces of glass any debris we remove that in the primary treatment that is called the physical process so physical process is the primary treatment in which we remove any physical impurity is that clear any solid any physical impurity is removed is that clear in secondary sewage treatment now beta if sewage see nowadays there is a very important program which is launched by the government of india please pay attention to what i am saying called the namami gange plan right so in the namami gange plan we are planning to improve the river ganga if there is anybody who is watching this class from varanasi you will know that a lot of ghats across the river have been made very very clean before this we had two very important plans one was the yamuna action plan where we were planning to clean the yamuna and the other was a ganga action plan now is the namami gange plan where we are cleaning up the river ganges is that clear now if i introduce sewage to the river what will happen the sewage my dear children has a lot of undigested waste material please pay attention sewage ke andar bahut zyada undigested waste material hota hai agar ye river mein dal denge तो रिवर में ये डाइजेस्ट अनडाइजेस्टेड सीवेज क्या होने लग जाएगा डाइजेस्ट अनडाइजेस्टेड सीवेज को डाइजेस्ट कौन करता है अनडाइजेस्ट क्या होता है रॉ वेस्ट मटेरियल व्हिच इज देयर इन द फीकल मैटर तो अनडाइजेस्टेड सीवेज को डाइजेस्ट कौन करेगा बैक्टीरिया और बैक्टीरिया ये डाइजेस्ट करने के लिए क्या यूज करेंगे ऑक्सीजन और वो ऑक्सीजन कहां से यूज करेंगे फ्रॉम द वॉटर ऑफ द रिवर आई रिपीट द सीवेज हैज अनडाइजेस्टेड वेस्ट मटेरियल इफ यू पुट इट इन द रिवर द अनडाइजेस्टेड वेस्ट मटेरियल हैज टू बी कन्वर्टेड इनटू डाइजेस्ट द बैक्टीरिया को तो मजे लग जाएंगे बैक्टीरिया हैज सो मच ऑफ फूड टू ईट सो द बैक्टीरिया विल कन्वर्ट द अनडाइजेस्टेड वेस्ट मटेरियल टू डाइजेस्टेड वेस्ट मटेरियल और ये करने के लिए इट विल रिक्वायर cool oxygen yes so now because it requires oxygen to do this it will use up the oxygen from the water of the river this will decrease oxygen of the river decreasing oxygen of the river is called as eutrophication agar oxygen river ka kam ho gaya so all the plants and the animal species of the river will also start to die and jab undigested waste material ko bahut zyada oxygen ki zarurat padti hai that is called the biological logical oxygen demand right so what you want to do is you want to decrease the biological oxygen demand yes or no aapko nahi chahiye ki koi bhi undigested waste material river mein dale you want to digest it so in the secondary sewage treatment this is a tank 
you put the sewage in this tank right put the sewage in this tank and put bacteria so this bacteria and you give oxygen by aeration right so there are anaerobic aerobic bacteria both of them up oxygen vagera supply kariye sewage dijiye uske upar bacteria dal dijiye right and the bacteria will digest the sewage in the tank which is known as biological process and they will convert the undigested waste into digested waste is that clear you have any doubts please write it down in the comment section so in the secondary sewage treatment plan which is a biological plan i will convert the undigested waste material of the sewage into the digested waste material how do i convert the undigested to digest yes i convert it by the help of bacteria is that clear yes cool an organism is used as bio fertilizer that means that organism can be added as fertilizer it's a living organism that can be added as fertilizer so i'm calling it bio fertilizer soya bean which produces a plenty of proteins nitrogen hota hai soya bean yes it's a leguminous crop that's a big hint to kaun sa bio fertilizer use karungi main chaliye bataiye it's a leguminous crop come on which is the bio fertilizer that i'm going to use absolutely absolutely rhizobium is that clear so rhizobium i will use for growing soya bean because it fixes atmospheric nitrogen rhizobium is used as a bio fertilizer for raising various crops it can fix atmospheric nitrogen you see these nodules these nodules are produced because rhizobium has a gene which gene is known as nif gene nitrogen fixation gene and it forms these root nodules is that clear in the root nodules extra information please pay attention in this root nodules leg hemoglobin has to be there why because nitrogen fixation is generally an anaerobic process so the leg hemoglobin which is pink color in the nodules of the roots is a oxygen scavenger it removes oxygen from there right so leg hemoglobin removes the oxygen absolutely leg hemoglobin removes the oxygen from the nodules so that nitrogen can be fixed iska full form agar kabhi aise aa gaya exam mein r japonicum aap confuse ho gaye soch rahe ho are humne to rhizobium padha ye kya aa gaya r japonicum iska full form hai rhizobium japonicum forms symbiotic association in the roots of leguminous plants like soya bean it fixes nitrogen and makes the soil rich in nitrogen the root nodules are formed to form a nitrogen to form nodules and to be able to fix nitrogen we require special genes what are the special genes called the special genes are known as the absolutely right the nif genes which form the nodules the nodules have leg hemoglobin which are pink in color they are full of oxygen scavengers because nitrogen fixation cannot happen in anaerobic in aerobic condition it requires anaerobic condition any doubts anything that you've not been able to understand cool chali let us move ahead for some time which one of the following is a wrong matching of a microbe it's a wrong don't forget to you know remember this as of which one of the following matching karke jo sahi lag raha hai usko tick mark karke aa jao so many children do this mistake please i am telling you in every class do not do this mistake so which one of the following is a wrong matching of a microbe and its industrial product while the remaining three are correct kaun sa hai wrong matching chaliye bilkul 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 yes clostridium botulinum lactic acid nahi banata hai it does not make lactic acid in me se ek question to 100% exam mein aayega i have made a chart which i'm going to share with you right now yes chaliye let me share that super cool chart with you which i have made microbes are used for commercial and industrial commercial means to sell and to earn money profitable thing of certain chemicals like organic acids alcohols and enzymes right bachcho माइक्रोब्स पे एक क्वेश्चन हंड्रेड परसेंट आएगा सो नेक्स्ट सेवन एट स्लाइड्स में सिर्फ और सिर्फ माइक्रोब्स है प्लीज सी दैट सेल और सेल डिवीजन पे जैसे हंड्रेड परसेंट हंड्रेड परसेंट क्वेश्चन आएगा थियोरी लेक्चर सेल डिवीजन पे बहुत अच्छे बने हैं विचार इन द वेदांतू नीट चैनल प्रॉपर थियोरी लेक्चर जिनमें बहुत सारे एमसीक्यूज डिस्कस किए गए हैं 
प्लीज सी देम एंड आई एम सोन कमिंग अप विद बोनस लेक्चर ऑल्सो वेरी सोन ये चलिए आइए so microbes are used for the commercial and industrial production of certain chemicals like organic acids alcohols and enzymes in examples of acid producers are aspergillus niger fungus which produces citric acid acetobacter aceti which is a bacteria which produces acetic acid clostridium butylicum which is a bacteria which produces butyric acid and lactobacilli which produces lactic acid please have you clicked a snapshot have you clicked a snapshot of this or write this down very important cool i'm moving ahead okay next question on your screen please which one of the following is an example of carrying out biological control of pests or diseases using microbes in me se kaun sa hai jo biological control yes of pests or diseases karta hai anyone we've done them ye hum teeno kar chuke hain चलिए बताइए यस कंफ्यूजिंग करेक्ट दिस इज द सेम वन दैट वी हैड डन इन द बिगनिंग ऑफ द क्लास एज वेल मैंने एंड आई हैव स्पेशली पुट द यस आई हैव वेरी वेरी स्पेशली पुट द वन व्हिच आर रिपीटिंग क्वेश्चंस सो दैट यू डू हैव एन आइडिया कि कितने ज्यादा क्वेश्चन सेम तरह से बट ट्विस्ट होकर लैंग्वेज में रिपीट होते हैं a biological control being developed for the use in the treatment of plant diseases is the fungus so trichoderma is a fungus trichoderma species are free living fungus ye nature mein rehti hai aaram se apne aap rehti hai ye free living hai they are very 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 common in the root ecosystems right ab dekhiye trichoderma kya release kar rahi hai chitinase this is such a good example such a good drawing of the mechanism of action trichoderma ek fungus hai point number 1 ye free living hai point number 2 point number 3 iska mechanism of action kya hai ye kya secrete kar rahi hai ye secrete kar rahi hai chitinase aur chitinase kya kar raha hai dekhiye ye host fungus hai ye wo fungus hai jo plant ko destroy kar sakti hai fungus ki cell wall kiski bani hoti hai chitin bacterial cell wall kiski bani hoti hai extra information now on your screen nag nam please see the cell wall lecture please see the cell lecture 100% mcqs will come from that particular lecture go home see that see plant morphology too you guys have less number of people have seen that go home see it very important so plant bacterial cell wall bani hoti hai nag mam ki plant cell wall bani hoti hai cellulose hemicellulose aur pectin ki aur fungal cell wall bani hoti hai chitin ki so trichoderma kya secrete kar rahi hai chitinase which is going to break the fungal cell and pepta bilo pepti bilos will go and puncture it राइट वो ब्रेक कर देगा वो पंचर करके उसको डिस्ट्रॉय कर देगा इज दैट क्लियर सो ट्राइकोडर्मा इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बायो कंट्रोल एजेंट बिकॉज ट्राइकोडर्मा व्हिच इज अ फ्री लिविंग फंगस ये कभी भी दूसरी फंगसेस को आसपास लगने नहीं देगी प्लांट पे फंगस अटैक नहीं करने देगी ये मैंने अभी आपको बताया था आई हैड जस्ट टोल्ड यू नाउ व्हिच इज अ वेरी गुड सिट्रिक एसिड यू नो ब्यूट्रिक एसिड एसिटिक एसिड एग्जाम में क्वेश्चन आएगा ही आएगा right a good producer of acetic acid is aspergillus niger is that clear saccharomyces is nothing but yeast ye yeast brewers yeast ho sakti hai ya bakers yeast ho sakti hai brewers yeast hogi to alcohol banayegi bakers yeast hogi to co2 release karwayegi jo cakes banayega ya breads banayega any doubts anything that you have not been able to understand cool yes चलिए मूविंग अहेड टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन एस्पर्जिलस नाइगो व्हिच प्रोड्यूसेस सिट्रिक एसिड क्लोस्ट्रिडियम आई एम अगेन एंड अगेन दिस इज हाउ एस्पर्जिलस नाइगर लुक्स दिस इज हाउ एस सी नाउ लेट मी टेल यू वन मोर थिंग इसके बाहर आपको कवरिंग दिख रही है बताइए कैन यू सी अ कवरिंग आउटसाइड इट लाइक दिस अगर बाहर कवरिंग हो तो वो स्पोरेंजियम होता है क्या होता है स्पोरेंजियम इसके बाहर आपको कोई कवरिंग नहीं दिख रही सो so, जिनके बाहर कवरिंग नहीं है यू कैन नॉट सी अ कवरिंग लाइक दिस व्हाट आर दीज फंगस इज कॉल्ड जिनके बाहर कवरिंग नहीं है कॉनिडियम सो दिस इज कॉनिडियो स्पोर इज दैट क्लियर जिन फंगस के बाहर कवरिंग नहीं है दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एमसीक्यू क्वेश्चन अगेन जिनके बाहर नहीं है कवरिंग दे आर रेफर टू एस कॉनिडियम इज दैट क्लियर सो एस्पर्जिलस नाइगर प्रोड्यूसेस सिट्रिक एसिड क्लोस्ट्रीडियम ग्लोचिलिकम प्रोड्यूसेस ब्यूट्रिक एसिड saccharomyces is used for commercial production of ethanol c2h5oh if it's the brewers is pseudomonas 
produces alkaline protease which helps in protein degradation right agar mujhe juice hai mere paas koi bhi juice us juice ko maine clear karna hai you have seen there's a special type of juice which is called as pulpy orange usme chote chote fibers hote hain par agar aap real ka tropicana ka juice piyenge there is no pulp in it so when you have to remove the pulp from the juice the clearing agent of the juice is known as pectinase राइट आगे स्टैटिन वगैरह पे भी बहुत एमसीक्यूज आएंगे वी आर गोइंग टू डू दैट इन द नेक्स्ट फ्यू मिनट्स व्हाट गैसेस आर प्रोड्यूस यस दिस इज अगेन अ क्वेश्चन ऑन सीवेज तो जब सीवेज प्रोडक्शन हो रहा है स्लज यस जो सीवेज है उसको मैं डाइजेस्ट कर रहे हैं वी आर डूइंग दैट इन द सीवेज ट्रीटमेंट प्लांट व्हाट आर द गैसेस व्हिच आर प्रोड्यूस्ड इन द स्लज डाइजेस्टर ऑफ अ सीवेज ट्रीटमेंट प्लांट Yes, is it methane and carbon dioxide only? Is it methane, hydrogen sulfide and carbon dioxide? Is it oxygen or is hydrogen sulfide and it has to be methane? Yes, methane to hoga hi. Methane, carbon dioxide and very little amount of this is around seventy percent. This is around thirty percent. Yes, to hundred percent to nearly hoga. This is around five percent. To ye ho jayega apka tab sixty three, sixty four percent. Ye ho jayega twenty three, twenty four percent. Wo do, three, four percent jo extra ho jayega, that will be H two S. Is that clear? Yes. we are adding the anaerobic bacteria that is a anaerobic sludge digester aerobic bacteria se bhi kaam karwayenge taki sare ka sara waste material digest ho jaye undigested material digest ho jaye anaerobic bacteria se bhi kaam karwayenge jab ye dono bacteria kaam karenge what will happen will it decrease the biological oxygen demand yes so that now if i add it to water pehli baat to water mein add hona hi nahi chahiye you should take that you should take this sludge digester and put it in a gobar gas plant correct gobar gas plant se you will get methane which is inflammable right you should be able to do either rural areas mein lighting or rural areas mein it could be supplied to the kitchen as a gas and then the remaining spent slurry jo gobar gas se waste gas waste material nikalta hai that is called the spent slurry right this should be used in fields as a manure there should be no provision of adding this to water at all but if it is added to water it should only only and only be added after it is completely digested and after it is free of micro organisms the types of gases produced by microbial activity depend upon the microbes and organic substances you know there is a bacteria called methanobacterium that is also known as rumenococcus because methanobacterium or rumenococcus my dearest children is found in the rumen or the stomach of the cow certain bacteria called methanogens grow anaerobically on cellulosic material right so agar maize hum lete hain agar hum sugarcane ka molasses lete hain inke upar सेलुलोसिक बैक्टीरिया इनमें सेलुलोस कंटेंट बहुत ज्यादा होता है सो मिथेनोजन कैन ग्रो ऑन देम दीज बैक्टीरिया आर कॉमनली फाउंड इन द एनोरोबिक स्लज ड्यूरिंग सीवेज ट्रीटमेंट राइट एंड देन दे प्रोड्यूस गैसेज लाइक अमोनिया एंड हाइड्रोजन सल्फाइड अपार्ट फ्रॉम ऑब्वियसली मीथेन एंड कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड सो एज यू कैन सी मीथेन इज इनफ्लेमेबल एंड थ्रू द गोबर गैस प्लांट इट कुड बी यूज टू यू नो लाइट अप अ फायर इन द किचन of the rural countryside yes match the following list of microbes and their importance come on this question has come at least 10 times this question has come at least 10 times this question has come at least 10 times and this question has come at least 10 times individually last 20 years ke paper solve kariye aapko ye questions har dusre saal ke paper mein milenge yes or no i'm sure you're all solving and you know how important these questions are chaliye let's do this correct so what is the answer saccharomyces ethanol we've just done it yes monascus purpureus produces a substance which is called as statin statins are used to lower the cholesterol oblique the fats of the body i have also told you before this that cholesterol my dear children is produced by the liver of the body cholesterol is very important because it produces certain very important hormones like testosterone estrogen in the human body but excess of cholesterol is bad it is produced by the liver 
to produce hormones in the human body. If somebody has more amount of cholesterol, we give them statins which decrease the amount of cholesterol. It is readily available in the market as a drug by the name of atorvastatin. Is that clear? Trichoderma polyspermum produces something which is called a cyclosporin, right? Just in case, God forbid, anybody requires a organ transplant, those people will attack the organ. राइट right? जो भी ग्राफ्ट हुआ है जो भी ऑर्गन बाहर से आया है उसके खिलाफ होस्ट वर्सेस ग्राफ्ट रिएक्शन कर देंगे कौन करता है होस्ट वर्सेस ग्राफ्ट रिएक्शन वी हैव डन इट इन ह्यूमन हेल्थ एंड डिजीज सेल मीडिएटेड इम्यूनिटी टी लिम्फोसाइट तो हमें सेल मीडिएटेड इम्यूनिटी और टी लिम्फोसाइट को कम करना है विच इज डन एज बाय इम्यून सप्रेसिव एजेंट कॉल्ड साइक्लोस्पोरिन प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय ट्राइकोडर्मा polysporum and propionobacter charmani ncrt mein sab kuch diya they are from your ncrt only direct questions so propionobacterium charmani will help in ripening of the swiss cheese any doubts you know there is a plant you can google and read it it's called monstera monstera delicosa वेरी डेलीकेट प्लांट इसको स्विस चीज प्लांट भी कहते हैं क्योंकि जब भी चीज बनता है तो उसमें से सीओ टू निकलता है तो इस प्लांट में बड़े बड़े छेद हो जाते हैं यस लीव्स ऑफ द प्लांट हैव होल्स जस्ट लाइक चीज जब बनता है तो चीज में होल्स होते हैं टॉम एंड जेरी कार्टून तो चीज बनाते हैं उसमें होल बनाते हैं ये जेरी एक चीज का साइज लेके भाग रहा है पीछे टॉम भाग रहा है करेक्ट एनी डाउट एनीथिंग दैट यू नॉट अंडरस्टूड ये एंड लेट मी टेल यू माई डियर स्टूडेंट in the span of very few days that we have kind of known each other every day i get so many messages on gmail it makes me so 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 uh, thankful to each one of you for the kind of love that you're not only giving me but the kind of love that you are giving vedantu thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts from everybody here at vedantu for all the love that you continuously continuously share on each one of us here yes also i uh, i would like that each one of you stays connected with uh, vedantu you tell us about your success stories you tell us about the colleges that you've got into you tell us about what is happening in your life and you become a part of the growth of vedantu yes of the new country that we are all trying to form here so uh, like us on instagram follow us on facebook and uh, it will be so nice to stay connected with you we have a vedantu instagram page we have a vedantu uh, facebook page yes i also have my very own uh, facebook and instagram page so like us send us friend request stay in touch with us and spread the word tell everybody once you go to a college your younger brothers and sisters are there your friends are there tell them about the cool work that vedantu is doing spread the word please yes chaliye moving ahead right so this is how yes exactly this is how these are various bacteria fungi this is just a complete diagram ye cyclosporins ban rahi hain ki kaise hum inko biotechnology mein microbes ko use karke apna saman banate hain chaliye which one of the following in sewage treatment remove suspended solids maine pehle bataya tha i had just told you come on everybody i had just 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 told you which one of the following in sewage treatment yeah there could be pebbles there could be glass pieces there could be any rock or anything they all need to be removed how do we remove them absolutely right absolutely right by the primary treatment in which we do physical separation right suspended parts ko physically separate kar dete we let it see this is your sewage digesting tank so we put the sewage here all the suspended solids will settle down yes to so suspended sol isko solids hi likh dete all the solids will settle down so you remove them this is called the primary treatment in the secondary treatment you are going to use bacteria to digest the sewage राइट सो जब बैक्टीरिया सीवेज को डाइजेस्ट करते हैं वी नीड टू एरिएट इट हमें थोड़ी हवा भी देनी पड़ती है सो दैट बैक्टीरिया गेट इनफ ऑक्सीजन एंड रॉ मटेरियल तो है ही सीवेज में जिसको वो डाइजेस्ट करेंगे बैक्टीरिया एरोबिक भी हो सकते हैं बैक्टीरिया एनोरोबिक भी हो सकते हैं इज दैट क्लियर एनीथिंग दैट यू हैव नॉट अंडरस्टूड आई शिल मूव हेड primary or physical this word also has come in aims examination yes see previous year questions you will come agar word primary nahi hoga so this is the word which will be mentioned correct right so see this is how it primary treatment coarse debris right any rock coarse debris any pebble then sand grit stones small parts so all of this is primary or physical right then we clear it sludge digesters correct 
and then we aerate it. We give it plenty of air so that bacteria can grow. See? Correct everybody. In this, we are going to make the undigested waste into digested waste. Right? Then we clear it up. Right? Remove the bacteria from there. Disinfect it with the help of chlorine, ultraviolet rays. And finally, we have an effluent which is ready. We usually put it in a gober gas plant. Correct? We sometimes remove the nutrients also. Sewage has undigested waste material. Sewage has plenty of nutrients. On this nutrients in the developed countries, in the developed countries, on this nutrient, they grow spirulina. In fact, in developed countries, they grow spirulina on sewage water. And spirulina, what will you do? Absolutely right. Single cell protein, which is very, very nutritious. Spirulina, single cell protein tablets are also available in the market. Any out anything that anybody has not been able to understand very cool soya bean se kya kya aata hai i'm sure aap sabne ye to khaya hi hoga yes aur kya banta hai have you had soya chop have you all had something called soya chop which is very commonly available across the country it's like a snack item which is available yes so soya bean se kya kya banta hai soya bean is a very rich source of protein especially for those people who do not eat non vegetarian food right so for vegetarian food soya bean can be a very rich source of protein all three of them tempeh Yes, sufu and tofu. All of these are made from soya bean. Aap agar market wagera jate hai, you go to big bazaar and things like that, you also get soya milk. Correct everybody? So all of these are products of soya bean. Right? Is that clear? You know, if somebody of you are from North India, you know in summers we drink something which is called a sattu. Have you ever heard of it? Especially if you're from the, you know, UP belt, the, you're from Bihar. It's, it's very commonly consumed there. This also is made up of gram. Gram also is a very rich source of protein. So all of these are products of soya bean. Is that clear? Which is a very rich source of exactly. Any doubts still now? Easy class, right? Very, very easy class. Another 10, 12 minutes. That's about it. Pay a lot of attention, right? So this is soya bean. This is the raw soya bean. This is uh, the ripe soya bean. Correct. It's a very rich source of proteins and we get sofu. To is tofu, sofu are very common products which are freely available in the market. Now, which one of the following combinations of organisms are responsible? If you go to the market, there are very lot of stalls. I don't want you to go to the market though. Huh? I want you to sit at home and study. But if you go to the market, you have a company called Epigamia. So now you have to make very stalls. And they make a lot of yogurt. Right? They make plenty of yogurt, like a lot of flavors. Right? Yogurt is something like our Indian Shrikhand. Correct, everybody? So which are the bacteria that we use? For preparing it. Those of you who are from Maharashtra, we know we eat a lot of Shrikhand. Correct? Absolutely. Con -con bacteria use it? Bilkul sahi kya. Lactobacillus bulgaricus and streptococcus because it is like it's khatta mitha. Right? So the sweet also has to be added but the, the sourness is because of Lactobacillus bulgaricus. Yogurt is a form of sour milk. Sourness khattas. It is prepared by fermenting artificially concentrated milk. So it's you know the yogurt aapne agar shikhand khaya hoga it's very thick. Aise patla nahi hota paani ke It's very thick. Right? So we use concentrated milk or concentrated milk mein hum dalte Lactobacillus bulgaricus and Streptococcus thermophilus. Why thermophilus? Because agar bohat kam temperature hoga sardhi ke mausam mein aap nahi jamane ja rahe ho. Ask your parents, ask your mother especially. Wo nahi jamega. So there has to be a temperature of 24 to 45 degrees Celsius. We need it for 4 hours. It is followed by fermentation with the yeast. So traditionally, you know, a small amount of yogurt is produced or isi yogurt ko bar bar doodh mein dal ke neya banate rete hai. This is known as inoculum. You all know, jab bhi hume dahi ko jamana hai, we need to add a little bit of curd. That is called the inoculum, which will lead to regrowth. So lactobacillus bulgaricus and streptococcus, do not forget this, are important in biotechnology, in microbes for making yogurt. This is a multiple time MCQ question. Any doubts? Anything that anybody in my class has not understood, clear everybody, cool. Let us move ahead. Yes, very important. This also is a multiple time MCQ question. Rockford cheese, yes, is a special type of cheese. Hum isko kisse ripen karte hai? Kya bacteria, kya yeast dalke, kya fungus dalke hum isko? Yes, 
So the answer is we ripen it with the help of a fungus. Adding lactic acid bacteria to milk results in the formation of curd because of coagulation of milk proteins. Right. So what are the milk proteins? The milk proteins are yes, yes, yes. Right. They get coagulated. Jam jate hai. Correct. Curd lick of milk bees ko kete. The curd is further processed to form cheese. Cheese can be classified on the basis of their texture or hardness and ripening. Right? Kai ba kya the cheese is very soft cheese. Sometimes the cheese is a very, you know, hard, dense amount of cheese. Some cheese is a semi soft cheese. So, Rockford cheese is a semi soft cheese. In this cheese, spores of the fungus Penicillium Rockforti are added to the curd before final stages of the cheese production. Slightly bluish in color, Penicillium Rockforti is this fungus, right? Penicillium Rockforti. Penicillium notatum se to hume penicillin milti hai. Yes, everybody, which was the first antibiotic to be ever discovered, which saved a lot of lives in World War II. Is that clear? Any doubts? Anything that anybody has not understood? Cool. Are you understanding everything? Moving ahead. Moving ahead. Aspergillus niger. What does Aspergillus niger produce? Come on. We've done it in the solutions. Yes. Well answered. Yes. Apart from that, it also produces amylase. Citric acid and this so much of theory I've written. Please pay attention. Citric acid and gluconic acid are produced by Aspergillus niger. Citric acid is a preservative and flavoring agent which can citric acid say artificially lemon juice banta hai. Artificial lemon juice. Correct everybody citric acid se banta hai. You've been to the market sometimes you know in summers lemon becomes very very expensive. So they get those lemonies and artificial lemon and things like that. That is all made from citric acid. Right? Gluconic acid is employed in pharmaceuticals. Citric acid is also used by mucor. Right? Mucor is a fungal species and yeast. When medium is deficient in ferrous and manganese. Agar mitti mein ferrous or manganese nahi hai. Right? So, mucor produces citric acid and uses that. Lactic acid is obtained by the activity of bacteria like Streptococcus lactis or lactobacillus bulgaricus, lactobacillus delbranchi, fungus rhizopus bhi banata hai. It is used in clearing, flavoring and preserving confectionery. Lactobacillus com clearing ka matlab samashte ho? If, if the milk is very dense, you want to separate the proteins from the milk. Ve banana hai aapko. You can use lactobacillus. You can use lactobacillus for dyeing. You can use lactobacillus for preserving, for making pickles. Right? Acetic acid is both microbial and synthetic in origin. Agar mujhe microbes acetobacter banana, acetic acid banana hai, I can use acetobacter acety. It is used for making vinegar, plastics, pharmaceuticals, coloring agents. Any doubts? So citric acid is produced by aspergillus niger. Gluconic acid is also produced by it. Yes, is employed in pharmaceuticals. Citric acid mucor bhi banata hai. Lactic acid banata, streptococcus lactis and lactobacillus, gelbranchi lactobacillus, bulgaricus, right? And the fungus rhizopus. Acetic acid is made by acetobacter acety. Any doubts? You take a snapshot of this, please. Take a snapshot of this right now. Cool. Next question. See, this also. Ink banti hai, special types. This is called as gallic acid is used for making ink. It is obtained with the help of what? Out of these four options, which is the one which produces gallic acid? Aspergillus niger. Extra information, right? So, gallic acid, this is the fungus, is 3, 4, 5 trihydroxy. Benzene ke third carbon pe, fourth carbon pe, or fifth carbon pe hydroxyl group laga hai. 3, 4, 5 trihydroxy. Benzene ke third, fourth, or fifth carbon pe hydroxyl group laga hai. It is a colorless crystalline organic acid. It is produced by Aspergillus niger. It is found in tea leaves. Tea leaves, agar aapne kabhi raw khai hai, right? If you've ever been to the Nilgiri Mountains, you've been to Assam, so many of you must be from Assam, you've been to Palampur, right in Himachal, you know there are tea leaves. Agar tea leaves kabhi raw khai hai, they are little bitter, right? Because of gallic acid. Oak ki bark pe and many other plants in both its free state and as a part of the tannin molecules which are found in the bark. It is widely used in organic synthesis, pharmaceutical, ink making, dyeing, Chemical food and light industries. Gallic acid. Yes, aspergillus niger banata hai. Any doubts? Okay. Tell me which one of the following statements is incorrect. Again, a question from sewage treatment. Chaliye bataye. Come on. Which one of the following statement is incorrect about activated sludge? 
यस जिसमें हमने बैक्टीरिया डाल दिए हैं जिसको मैंने एक्टिवेट कर दिया है सी आई बिन टेलिंग फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट टाइम आई इवन शोड यू इन द फोटोग्राफ एरिएशन की जरूरत पड़ती है ताकि बैक्टीरिया को ऑक्सीजन मिल पाए ताकि बैक्टीरिया अनडाइजेस्टेड वेस्ट को डाइजेस्टेड वेस्ट में कन्वर्ट कर पाए सो दैट वी कैन रिड्यूस द बायोलॉजिकल ऑक्सीजन डिमांड कूल इज इट इट इज इन करेक्ट फॉर्मेशन ऑफ एक्टिवेटेड स्लश डज नॉट रिक्वायर डज रिक्वायर एरिएशन नॉट इज रॉन्ग so activated sludge system is a method of secondary treatment of sewage in which the primary effluent is taken into aeration tanks right now a large number of aerobic heterotrophic microbes grow in the aeration tank and form flocks which are nothing but masses of bacteria held together by slime and fungal filaments is that clear so see aapke sare ye ye hota hai flocks ye sare kya hai bacteria और इन बैक्टीरिया को हमने किनसे ज्वाइन किया है करेक्ट फंगल एलिम और ये बैक्टीरिया का मॉलिक्यूल क्या कहलाता है फ्लॉक और जब इस फ्लॉक को हम सीवेज में डालते हैं वो इसको क्या कर लेता है व्हाट डज अ फ्लॉक डू इट डाइजेस्ट द सीवेज इट कन्वर्ट्स द अनडाइजेस्टेड वेस्ट मटीरियल टू डाइजेस्ट दिस इज हाउ फ्लॉक लुक सी फ्लॉक्स Flocks, it's come in MCQs multiple, multiple times. आज घर जाइए बुक सॉल्व करिए फ्लॉक्स इट्स नथिंग बट एग्रीगेशन ऑफ बैक्टीरिया विच इज यूज टू डाइजेस्ट द सीवेज कम ऑन लास्ट फाइव सिक्स क्वेश्चन नाउ ऑन योर स्क्रीन सिलेक्ट द इनकरेक्ट स्टेटमेंट अबाउट द प्रोसेस ऑफ सीवेज ट्रीटमेंट वन मोर ऑन सीवेज कम ऑन इनकरेक्ट प्रोसेस चूज करिए इनकरेक्ट स्टेटमेंट अबाउट द प्रोसेस ऑफ सीवेज ट्रीटमेंट कम ऑन यस कूल Select the incorrect process. What is the incorrect process about the sewage treatment? Yes, secondary treatment is also known as chemical treatment. No, secondary treatment is a biological treatment. See, these are treatment plants. ये होगा आपका physical treatment वाला. कितने बड़े-बड़े होते हैं. This will be your physical treatment plant. Then will be your biological treatment plant. Finally, you will remove the bacteria from there and add it correct onto the Yes, onto you should ideally not add it onto a river. You should add it onto a gober gas plant. Central government ne kon kon sa plan choose kia hai rivers ko India me clean karne ke liye. I have told you before which are the plans which are chosen by the government. Yes, it is the Ganga Action Plan and the Yamuna Action Plan. Narmada is not so polluted, so we do not have a Narmada Godavari. or uh, you know trapti action plan we have a ganga as well as a yamuna action plan the ganga action plan has been renamed by chance abhi aa gaya it has been renamed as the namami gange plan is that clear any doubts cool understanding everything so the ministry look at the look at the rivers in our country just look at them the ministry of environment and forest has in shaded the ganga action plan and yamuna action plan to save these major rivers of our country from pollution under these plans it is proposed to build a large number of sewage treatment plants so that only treated water may be discharged or we may try to not discharge the sewage at all methanogens growing anaerobically without oxygen on cellulosic material like it grows inside the tummy of the cow called rumenococcus rumen what all do they produce rumen is the stomach of the cow where you have methanogens they have a specific name they are called rumenococcus rumenococcus is the special name there is that clear what all what all yes they produce correct well answered methane carbon dioxide as well as hydrogen so these are the three gases which are produced biogas is methane rich i told you it is 70% yes see we have 30 to 40% carbon with traces of nitrogen we've done this and hydrogen any doubts see the biogas plants any doubts cool as a radicata indica is neem you should know it so this is the dye which is taken up from that it can keep away insects right that is why in old days we used to take neem dry the leaves and burn them so that mosquitoes don't come or we used to take neems dry the leaves and put them in almira so that bugs any kind of bug any silver fish any kind of bug does not come it is as radicata indica it is extract from neem it is not from chrysanthemums no any doubts anything that you've not understood 
cool the key insecticidal ingredient found in the tree is as a radicatin it's a dye naturally occurring substance that belongs to the organic molecule called teranotrypanoids that's why it's called lot of smell the insects cannot bear the smell these are neem trees right right is that clear ye insects ko ugne nahi deta because it is similar to ecdyzone ecdyzone se insect molting karte hain you've seen cockroach shells राइट कॉकरोच की कवरिंग्स सो एक्टाइजोन से यस इंसेक्ट्स मोल्टिंग करते हैं ये इंसेक्ट्स की मोल्टिंग नहीं होने देता इंसेक्ट्स को ग्रो नहीं होने देता इज दैट क्लियर दिस कैन कम एज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एमसी टू क्वेश्चन राइट ये दोनों ट्रेड नेम्स है मैंने आपको कितनी बार क्लास में बोला है मोजेंटो इज अ ट्रेड नेम जिसने बीटी कॉटन और बीटी ब्रिंजल बनाई है डेवाइन एंड कॉलेगो आर द ट्रू ट्रेड नेम्स इन एग्रीकल्चर ये किस चीज के ट्रेड नेम्स है चलिए बताइए Yes, bio herby sites like Monsanto is a trade name which produces flower sour tomato, which produces Bt cotton, Bt brinjal, an organism which controls or destroys unwanted plant growth without harming the useful plants. You are not doing anything to the useful plants. You are just killing the harmful plants. Is called a bio herbicide. Divine and Coligo are fungal spores. fungus trichoderma ke spores which are sprayed over weeds for their elimination hence they are categorized as bio herbicides ye dono company hai jo ye fungal spores banati hai it also it has it can you know it does not have any harmful effect ye adverse condition spores kyunki spores hai agar garmi zyada hogi pani kam hoga yes humidity kam hogi the spores can remain alive for very long periods of time nothing at all will happen to the spores last two minutes of the class last three minutes of the class the last question of the class most potential organism for the production of insecticide come on yes absolutely right absolutely right bt cotton bt brinjal bacillus thuringiensis has got cryogen cryogen is inactive in the plant it becomes active in the gut in the gut of the insect in the alkaline ph and it bursts the cells of the gut of the insect jab koi caterpillar aake bt wala patta khata hai bt uske gut mein jata hai gut mein alkaline ph mein active ho jata hai wahan pe cryogen hota hai toxin banta hai cry2 ab cry1 ab yes aur wo toxin se uske gut mein chhed ho jata hai jiski wajah se uska gut burst ho jata hai jiski wajah se us insect ki death ho jati hai is that clear So it is Bt, Bacillus thuringiensis. Bacillus thuringiensis produces the endotoxin, which is produced inside the body. It is very, very. It's a global biological pesticide. Ninety percent of the biological pesticides have Bacillus thuringiensis. Which company makes them? Monsanto, right? So Bacillus thuringiensis is very important. It has cryogen. Hoti hai. Is ki yes it does not really it is non toxic to spinal animal so we have a spinal cord it is non toxic to it jab ye kisi insect ke gut mein jata hai to insect ke gastric juice mein gut mein ja kar ye active ho jata hai mammals mein ye kuch nahi karta hai hamara hydrochloric acid bt ko destroy kar sakta hai so it is absolutely safe in humans right that's why it's very very common 90% of the plants bio bio insecticide which they use is bt any doubts I hope you enjoyed the class as much as I always, always enjoy taking your class. So you know the mantra for today. You have to tell only positive things to your brain. Yes, I'll leave you with a very, very positive thing which your generation talks a lot about: positive vibes only. Yes, so you're going to tell your brain all positive things, all nice things, all good things, and your brain will help you in the same. So that's a little happy angel from my side, devil angel, because it's studying all the time. It's not letting you waste time. Do not waste time. Every second, every minute, every hour is precious. Work hard, study hard. Vedantu is with you. Stay connected with us. Send us a friend request here and there. Stay connected. Have a very, 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 very fulfilling day. Study very hard through the day. If there's anything, please reach out to us on the comment section. See you tomorrow. bye bye and tomorrow's class do not miss because we are going to start something which is very important from mcq point of view i have done the theory lectures on it tomorrow read the see the theory lectures and come please tomorrow i'm going to start with biotech mcq cool bye